Hello guys, in this video we're going to containerizing Spellkit application and then expose it by using Cloudflare Tunnel. So let's get started. So inside my Visual Studio code, I already opened a directory name called Spellkit Node Docker. And then I'm going to scaffold a new Spellkit project by running a command npm create and then svelte at latest and then press enter. So the directory will be using a current directory and then using Spellkit demo app and then just set everything to a default configuration. So next I'm going to install the packages by running npm install. Okay, usually it's not as long as this. All right, it's installing. Okay, next I'm going to install the adapter, which is the adapter node. So we can run a command npm i dash capital D and then spell js slash adapter node. Okay. All right. Okay, the nice thing to do, I'm going to do it is to go to spell config.js and then replace the adapter from adapter auto to adapter node, right? Okay, let's close this file and let's build the application by running npm run build. Okay, the application is ready. Now we can see there's a build directory which we can run it by using node build. Okay, it's listening at port localhost port 3000. You can go to, to the browser and accessing the localhost port 3000. All right, this is how the application the spell kit running by using node. But there's one thing that is not working, which is when we press enter here, we can see there's an error because the file is not loaded. And this is because the content security policy that uh, spell kit set it up by default so we need to expose the origin of our application by using an environment variable so let's go back to the terminal and cancel the operation so we need to set it up something like origin equal let's say http localhost for the port 3000 and then go run the node build command again okay now let's res restart the application now we can see www press enter okay it's wrong but it's working there's no error so this is how to using to run this built application inside a node environment okay now i'm going to containerizing this application but first we need to create a new file called okay inside the root of the directory I'm going to create a docker ignore file to ignore to only include the necessary file so the first one I'm going to not include everything but only include the source directory and then the static directory and then okay the JS config I think is required JS config dot JSON and then package dot JSON and package lock dot JSON and then spell dot config dot js and fit dot config dot js all right i think this is enough okay next let's create a docker file okay using a syntax of docker version one okay now i'm going to set up the from instruction which is node.js and the version i'm not going to using latest because uh, this is cost me a lot of problem in the future so let's go to the browser and go to hub.docker.com and search for node. So we can use the static version for the node, which is, okay, 18.15.0, I'll find 3.17. All right. 
18.15.0-alpine3.17 right now i'm going to set this uh stage as a builder I'm going to using a multi-stage build for the node uh the container and then I'm going to set the work dir directory with app and then going to copy the package package.json and package lock.json into the working directory okay next i'm going to run the command by running npm ci okay after the installation is completed <coughs> i'm going to copy again for all the file that is allowed to the image to the first stage okay next i'm going to run a command and that is uh, npm run build all right okay next going to using a run command again and this one will be npm ci dash dash road which is only install and remove the unnecessary dependencies such as dev dependencies okay this is for the stage one okay for the stage the second stage which is the running container going to using a from instruction again and the base image will be node and the first one will be similar so we can use something like arc okay the name will be let's say node version and this will be the version of the version that we are going to using here so i can replace this uh, static uh, the hard-coded version with node version all right now this one too node version all right okay set the work there with app okay uh one more thing because this is the running container and for the best practice in security we need to set it up the user with node and a group of node so not using a root user okay next uh, i'm going to copy the file from the builder stage so the builder will generate a file called build directory so we can uh, is using the source directory in here like it will be from the stage builder and then going to set the user tone by using set the per, uh, set the per user permission by using node and a group of node and the file that we are going to copy its app slash build to the directory of build directory okay i'm going to copy the build directory from here and then copy it into this image okay next i'm going to copy again and this is going to copy almost similar it will be from stage builder and they set the user with user uh, node and a group of node and the file will be app and this will be a node modules to the node modules right Okay, one more file to copy and that is uh set okay we need to set the user privilege first with node and node the file will be the package of json package the json to the current directory so this one is just going to copy from this uh working uh, to our project into the current image okay okay the last one will be setting up a command cmd command and it is node build all right so we can build the image by running okay let's open up the terminal again let's hide this uh, explorer to have more bigger view so we can build the image by running docker build and then that's the for the tag name let's say uh, svelte kit and the tag will be latest and using period because the docker image is inside here all right let's press enter okay the image is created and let's see how big the file is docker image ls and you can see the spell kit with a tag of letters has an image size of 177 megabyte okay quite smaller okay next we can run this image by running docker run and then uh, using a detached mode and the port will be let's say let's let's make it different and the port will be 50 50 to the port 50 50 and of course we need to set the environment variable with uh short name e and the port name 
will be 50 50 and another uh, environment variable and with that is a origin and the origin will be http localhost port 5050 okay we're going to set this uh, container name with uh, svelte kit svelte kit and the image name will be okay this svelte kit with a tag of latest okay svelte kit with a tag of latest okay let's press enter okay now this docker is running let's see docker ps okay we're running container svelte kit Okay, let's go to the browser and navigate to localhost port 5050. All right, this is our running image, uh, running uh, our spell kit application running from a Docker. In about, let's see, it's wordless. Let's see, is it how is it working? Okay, now it's working. Okay. Okay, now we're going to expose this uh, running container to the world by using Cloudflare Tunnel. So to do that, we need to go to the Cloudflare first. Well, basically, you need to create an account for the Cloudflare, and that includes your domain name. So let me log in first. Okay, I already register a domain and connect it to the Cloudflare, which is a runnable site. As you can see here, there is no nothing in here, even the DNS is empty. So let's go back and inside this Cloudflare tunnel, we can go to the, the zero trust in here. Okay, let's do loading. Okay, and this we're going to close this. Okay, just yes, just exit. Okay, next we need to navigate to the access and then go to tunnels. So I don't have any tunnels, so I can I need to create it the first tunnel, create tunnel. And let's name the tunnel, let's say uh kit. And okay, maybe just tunnel. And save, or maybe just like the domain name runnable. And save the tunnel. Okay. Uh next we need to copy the okay, because we're going to run this Cloudflare tunnel by using docker so we can pick the docker in here and then install the docker for the connector so let's copy this and go back to the terminal and let's clean up this first but before we run this command we need to set it up a network so docker create oh sorry docker network create let's say the tunnel name Cloudflare Okay, so already created, I already created the Docker network previously. All right. Now we can paste the long code here, but we should not enter it first. We need to configure it some uh, parameter in here. So the first one, let's name this container Cloudflare and then set the network, network with Cloudflare and then run it in the detach mode, that's D, something like that. Okay, now let, we can press enter. right okay now we can see if we're running docker ps you can see there's a two running container so how we can expose this our spell kit application into the world so first let's go back to the tunnel okay let's okay you can see there's connector if connected it will be notification and with the status of connected so we can press next and then we we'll set the public host name. Let's say the domain name is kit, the subdomain and the primary domain, which is runnable site, which we already I already regist registered it previously. And the path name, let's keep it a blank. And then the type will be HTTP and the URL will be the container name. So the container name is spelled kit and the port is 5050. All right. And let's save it first. Okay, save the tunnel. Right, let's, let's wait a couple of bit. Okay, it's running. So we need to reconfigure the net docker that we just created, the spell kit application. 
So let's stop the container first, docker rm svelte kit, and this will be using f function. But to make our life easier, why not create a docker compose file inside our root of the project directory called docker compose.yaml. Okay, let's close this for now. Okay, the version will be version maybe 3.9. And let's get the surfaces. And the first surface will be well kit. Alright. And then set the container name. Uh, let's because we already register it as a spell kit. So we can name it spell kit. Okay. So the build directory will be the period because inside in here. And then next I'm going to set the restore with always. And then next, we need to set it up the port. And the port will be 5050 to the port 5050. Okay, next, we need to set the environment and set the permanent. First, the first one will be port, and the value is 5050. And the origin will be the one that we just created before. So let's take a look here. Okay, runnable. Let's configure it. Let's public hostname. You can see kit runnable dot site. It will be using an HTTPS. So HTTPS kit dot runnable dot site. All right. Okay. I think that's all. Now we need to set, we need to set the end the network networks, and this will be a default network, and the name will be uh, Cloudflare, and this will be an external true. Right. Okay. Let's save this. Okay, okay, let's delete this. Okay, let's save this and run the application by running docker compose up dash d, right? Okay, now wait, let's see. Docker, yes. Okay, we have running container. Okay, let's test it up inside our local network local host port 5050 okay it's running now what if we're running on the kit dot runnable dot site okay now our our local application it's running and expose it into the internet by using cloudflare tunnel so i think that's all that i want to show to you about this and let's see how is, is it work okay it's work so everything is work and Hope you enjoy how things going and if you have any question or suggestion please leave a comment below last but not least thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again bye bye